Okay, the next one we're going to do is an outward block. There's two ways to do this one. We're going to start with just the outward block. We're going to pretend, again, maybe we punched, maybe our hand is over here for some reason. We're just going to come across and block straight out. This is going to end right by the side of my face. I don't want to be way out here. There's no reason to do this. Right here, keep my elbow down. Keep my arm as straight up and down as I can. So again, you're trying to put power into this. It works good after punches, because again, outward is going to be backwards. Maybe I turn my hip to do this punch, and then they're going to throw a punch right here, and I want to block it. I could turn my hip back to get power and block out. Same thing with this. If they're coming here, maybe I threw the jab. I see the punch coming over. I'm going to block, and at the same time, I can turn to a forward bow and punch. All right. One thing you don't want to do is what I just did, but don't do it. <laughs> You're going to try to get this hand. If, you, if they're punching straight through here and you want to knock their hand to the outside, I'm not going to try to get this hand all the way around and block before their punch comes to me. It's going to take too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this hand first. Use either an inward parry or an inward block. And once their hand is out of the way, I know I blocked it, then I'm going to bring this hand around and I'm going to knock them off balance or do whatever I wanted to do with this outward block. So I'm going to bring this one across, this one under, and block. Cross, under, and block. Cross, under, and